Hello, it's Holly with Ivy Cool Creation. Today I am working on day 25 sketch for Follow a Sketch February, as well as Get in Shape Hop, uh, run by Shannon, and today's shape is stars, which works out perfectly because there are stars in this sketch. So that was super convenient. <laughs> now, I have all these papers together in a little kit. As you know, or if you've never been here before, I make kits um, just out of my pattern papers that I have that kind of coordinate, go together, and um, just look good together. So I, I've been using them for forever. And I've found that that is a way that I can uh, use up my stash rather, rather easily. So what I did was I used my circle trim and cut um, to get the circles out of uh, these papers. And I've busted the little arm on my little blade. So it's a little bit awkward and not really working the best right now. Um, I'm trying to come up with another form of cutting circles uh, that are large. So that's kind of my... Uh, that's my ask right now I guess this is what I'm looking for that's what I'm on the search for anyway I was having a difficult time trying to figure out where to put these things and I wanted uh, another color I wanted the orange or the red that was in the triangles in the back paper and um, I did end up cutting this branding strip uh, and thinking of using it, but I ended up not using it at all. So what I did end up doing was going through my um, bin of cut-aparts and um, finding a cut-apart card that matched um, the colors in the background paper. Now I did have this huge cut-apart star and I was thinking of using that, but it was just so big and the way that the pictures were going to go, you just wouldn't see it at all. So I thought, you know, putting a card behind my photo would bring in that orange a little better and just try to define that, that left side a little bit more. Um, so once I get my card sorted out, I ended up uh, cutting it apart just because it had some shiny bits on the ends and I don't even know what the saying was it was something about being bombastic and I was like I'm never going to use this so might as well use it as orange <laughs> uh, so yeah I ended up uh, just really throwing things on this page in the end stars obviously were the shape of the week and so I went through my little bin of stars and just pulled out the ones that I thought would work and then there was this this yellow one it was like a chipboard but it was thicker like I call them fat stars and they don't have like the skinny points so I just turned it into a skinny star that's what I call them <laughs> um so I ended up clipping uh, just a little notch in between each point and then just trimming from the point to the tip of that notch and that gave me the skinnier shape. Then I had these teal stars that were cocoa vanilla. I think they were from the legendary collection and I'd already sprayed them once a million years ago to make them teal or green and I wanted them different colors. So I sprayed a blue one and then um, I think I sprayed these with more green. And so that, um, that really worked out a lot better. Then for the smaller orange ones, I had uh, Crackling Campfire is my new like red orange stamp ink, not stamp, ink. And so I just decided to um, just smash the ink over top of these stars just to give it a little bit more of an orange color. 
I also used the uh, chipboard stars from Vicki Booten's newest collection, uh, the travel one. I always want to say, are we there yet? But I'm not sure if that's the actual name. <laughs> I really should look it up, but I don't own anything other than these star chipboards. So, <laughs> so yeah. Anywho. <laughs> so what I did was I cut the circles out of uh, some other ephemera bits and then just cut them in half to spread them around. I figured I might as well just use the the circles because there were already circles in the um, in the sketch and I really wanted to have that compass on there and then I just kind of started clustering my stars around. Um, I decided I needed some more blue especially down at the bottom because there was a lot of blue up the top and then I went and found some shiny star stickers and yes they are puffy stickers but they're super shiny. I think I got them from the dollar store. Anyway, I added some journaling to the bottom of that play card. I thought it looked a little bit empty, so I decided I would just throw some lines down there, fill it up a little bit. And I really loved the way this one turned out. It was a lot of fun. So please don't forget to check out the description box below for everyone who's playing along with Follow Sketch February, as well as checking out everyone's videos for the Get In Shape Hop. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I truly appreciate it. Mm -hmm.